Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss how to display SharePoint lookup field in Power Apps data table. Here you can see this is my source list as diseases list. Inside this, I have added different columns like disease, doctor's name, doctor's fees, and doctor's experience. Now I would like to take this text field as a lookup column in destination list. See here, this is my destination list as patient tracker. Inside this, I have added different columns including the lookup column. And based on the lookup column, I will take doctor's name, doctor's experience and doctor's fees as well as. Now I would like to display these list records on a Power Apps data table using lookup field. For that, go to the Power Apps. And whenever you want to create a blank canvas app, just click on the create button. Here select blank app and choose blank canvas app then click on the create button. Here provide the app name. And you can also choose the format like tablet or phone. Next click on the create button. Now rename the default screen like And you should remember whenever you want to add a lookup field into the Power Apps data table, you must connect the respective SharePoint online list to the Power Apps. For that, go to the data section. Here, choose Add Data and select SharePoint. Then choose your respective SharePoint online site like marketing. Then choose your respect to SharePoint online list like uh, diseases list and patient tracker list. Then click on the connect button. Then go to the default screen. Now you need to add a data table for that expand the insert tab. Here search the data table. and make it as alignment properly now set its items property as destination list like patient tracker and if you cannot see the SharePoint lookup column in the power apps data table you can add it using the fields option like click on the fields option here select the add field option here you can choose the lookup column as well so this is the normal way to display the sharepoint lookup field in the power apps data table control next i will show you how to filter the sharepoint lookup in power apps data table using drop down for that insert a another blank screen and rename the screen name like next to set the power app screen on visible property like next to set the power apps on this here you can see collection diseases is my collection name and here i will add the all value to display the all the records on a data table and this is my sharepoint online list like diseases list now insert a drop down control and set its items property like and increase the font size go to the preview section 
here expand the drop down here you can see you will get all the diseases names including the all value now insert a data table control and set its items property like here you can see this is my drop down control name like drop down lookup and this is my all value to display the all the records on a data table this is my shape point online destination list like patient tracker and here i will use the filter condition to filter the shape point online list records and display the records based on the drop down selected value and if you want to display the SharePoint online list fields on the data table, just click on the edit field option. Here choose add field and choose your respective fields. Then click on the add button. And finally set the default value of a drop down control to all. To display the all the records on a power apps data table once your app is ready just save and publish the app now whenever the user opens or runs the app the data table displays all the SharePoint list records based on the drop down lookup value like all and you can also filter the data table using the drop down control selected value for that go to the preview section here you can select the any lookup value based on that lookup value the data table will filter the sharepoint online list records yes friends this is all about how to display the sharepoint lookup field on a power apps data table I hope guys you like this video to give me a like or do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint Online, Power Apps and Power BI. Thank you.